take on the challenge of turning a small investment into a profitable stock portfolio using proven beginner tips that worked for me. Making money with stocks is a topic that's more relevant than ever, especially for beginners. The idea of achieving financial freedom by investing in the stock market is attractive, and with the right strategies, it's definitely achievable. Tip one, you need a strategy. Like me, many of you have probably thought about investing in stocks at some point, but you've held yourself back due to lack of knowledge or fear of losing your hard earned money. And the truth is, Investing in stocks can be overwhelming, especially with the countless options available. So where do you even start? Should you invest in individual stocks or opt for ETFs? How do you know which stocks are even worth investing in? What's an ETF, I hear you ask? And that is why you need this video. And I'm just a regular Joel who wanted to make money online while I was asleep, but I didn't know how to do stocks and shares. I'm not an accountant or I'm a business guy from Wall Street. But I started with an easy app, and look, I have made more than 10% than I would have from a bank in only a year. But you need to start somewhere, so let's get started here. Firstly, fear of losing money is a worry that holds people back from investing in stocks. Nobody wants to lose their savings, and it is natural to feel apprehensive about taking the plunge. However, the key is to educate yourself. Start small so that you can gradually build your confidence and your portfolio. And you don't need hundreds or thousands. You can start with whatever spare money you've got. Me, I decided to use a small amount each month that I wouldn't care about if I'd lost it. And then a few months later, when I was more confident about how to choose my stocks, it became much, much easier to invest. Think about this. We spend money on the lottery and meals each week if we're going out. But what if that money could breed more money each month instead? That's what helped me relax about spending it on stocks. Another challenge that beginners face is information overload. There's so many resources available online. It's easy to get caught up in conflicting opinions and advice. I took the advice from professionals. I didn't go to friends and family. I listened to financial advisors and Wall Street advisors. So see if you can find vid a few videos here on YouTube. Um, and then you can choose the platform to buy your stocks. It's essential to get credible sources of information and focus on the basics before you dive any deeper into the world of stock trading. I used to get migraines trying to understand it, but research from the professionals who did know what they were talking about helped to make it easier. Tip two, research the platforms that you want to use for your goals. Once you know what to use, you can start shopping for your stocks. Understanding the different type of stocks is crucial when investing in the stock market. You've got things like blue chip stocks, growth stocks, dividend stocks, so much more. And it's actually really essential to know the characteristics of each one and how they fit into your overall investment strategy. Your research is so critical in this process and it helps you to identify the potential winners and avoid costly mistakes. So when it comes to setting realistic goals for trading, it's vital to have a clear understanding of what you want to achieve. Are you looking for short-term gains or are you looking for long-term wealth? Your goals will dictate your investment strategy, so it's essential to take the time to define what they are. Tip three, have a purpose for trading. For me, I wanted to make more money on savings than I would if I'd put my money sitting in the bank. Another critical aspect of stock trading is risk management. Now, it's almost impossible to eliminate risk entirely, but you can minimize it by diversifying your portfolio. It's also essential to have a disciplined approach to investing so you can avoid impulsive decisions based on your emotion. Here is a powerful insight that can significantly change how beginners approach stock trading. It is essential to learn from your mistakes. Losing money is inevitable, especially in the learning process, but it is how you respond that matters. Instead of getting discouraged, use your losses as an opportunity to learn and improve your strategy. Diversification is another critical aspect of stock trading and we can usually overlook that. Spread your investments across lots of assets and industries and you can minimize your risks and actually increase your potential returns. As a newbie, I decided to invest in the products that I was using in my life. If I like their products, so will other people, and I invested in those bigger companies like Amazon, Google, and my banks. 
these are the companies with the money and that's where I wanted my money to be safe. Finally, it is essential to stay flexible and adapt to the changing market conditions. The stock market is inherently unpredictable and what works today might not work tomorrow. Stay informed and stay willing to adjust your strategy. You can stay ahead of the curve and achieve your financial goals. That means don't get caught up in what's happening every single day. Once the money is in, try to forget about it until you're looking to buy more or you've got the time to actually sit and play and strategize. I used to see the losses and feel rubbish about it. You've got to trust your own strategy. Making money with stocks requires a combination of knowledge, patience and discipline. Understand the different types of stocks, set realistic goals and manage your risks. You can increase the chances of success in the stock market and remember it is okay to start small and gradually build your portfolio. The key is just take action and keep learning. Thank you for watching everyone. I'd love to hear about your stock trading experiences in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning my very first trading strategies, be sure to check out my video on how much to invest as a new starter. I will see you soon. Take care. Pow!